Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. In this short video, I would like to show you how to do the symbology, labeling, and after that, how to configure the print view or map layout in QGIS software. So let's start. If I go to the layer from the menu toolbar and add layer, add vector layer, so you see our data from the previous video, how to import them into our local machine, which are the buildings and parcel. And I would like to use the same data for input. So if I just use the shape file from those layer and after that adding to my system, you see, and if I bring up the building in the layer panel, uh, you see the building and parcel. So if I go to the building and open attribute table, you see some information in it, like a type, admin level, barrier, or some other information. And most of them are empty since they are coming from the OpenStreetMap. But I would like to show you how to uh, do the symbology different color from for example from this column building color building column since we have the different values in it like a house apartment not clear what is the what is the type of this building or garage or some other information so let's start if i go to the building and just go into the properties you see we have the symbology and in the symbology we have this chance to define the symbology as a simple field just to define a color or some some other color like a gradient or some some other so i would like to show you how to do the categorize symbology so first of all you must choose the value from that and you see that you, all your columns here and if i just searching for the building and after that going to the classify so you see all the values apartment church church and some some other and you have this uh, possibility in the color ramp to right now it's a random color you can change it uh, according to your interest color like a blue or green or grays and some other and if I just apply and OK, and if I go to uh, go to my uh, map again, you see the different color. And if you open your legend, you see the uh, different legends we have. So, and we have this possibility to show feature count, and you see the number of the apartment 114 uh, uh, and some other uh, numbers. We have this possibility to turn off uh, some uh, legends like apartment or some some other commercial and you won't see the information or this building again uh, into the map or you can activate again and yes just let's continue with the parcel and if i go to the land parcel right now it's just one uh, color in the symbology and if i go again to the properties and uh, simple feel you see right now it's just one color defined but i would like right now to show how to use the graduated symbology here if i come here you see the value and the value i cannot uh, choose something here and the problem is that for the graduated uh, symbology we need the value which are in the digit or in the number format not in the text format so let's check if we have some uh, column in the text format or in the uh, number format, digit format. So, and if I go to the land parcel again in the properties, you come to the fields and you see the type, uh, the type or string. So we do not have, and you know, in the ID ABC is a text format string and we do not have any uh, digits in it. So, I think it's a good chance to show you, for example, let's uh, start with creating the um, or calculating the area from the land parcel. And if I go again to the attribute table, 
so we do not have the area here we have the land area but it's in the text format and we cannot use it for the graduated symbology so it's easy and if i go to the open field calculator and create a new field and let's write it down a area and output field type let's consider and uh, yes a real decimal numbers that would be great great output fit length and so and let's do it going to the geometry we would like to have the area and just with clicking this area you see this area and with one okay you see the area for all parcels and if i just save yes and just close and again going to the properties and coming back to the symbology right now we we'll have this possibility to choose the area and if i just choose the area and you have different mode from here you can equal count equal interval and some some other option and let just let's use use it the equal count and classify you see for example when the area is between five to uh, 300 square meter you see the, as this this color and some more and in this mm, uh, here in the classes you can define more than five classes and if i just the okay you see the land parcel and uh, again going to the show feature count you see the number of those because it we just consider as a um, equal this uh, counts so let's continue with the another uh, format of the symbology and if i come here go to the rule base what is the rule based symbology the, this rule based symbology make the, this possibility for us uh, not only from one column to have the symbology because from the in the graduated and in the categorized and in the uh, simple symbol we, we have this option just to create a symbol or uh, color different color just from one column but in this rule base we have this possibility to uh, to create some symbol from two or more uh, columns so let's show you i would like to add if I go here very simple code uh, for example field and value and if the land use let's see what kind of and if I just go into the all unique so you see if the land use is farmland okay I would like and you can define the label as a farm land and uh, you have this possibility to define your uh, symbol and if i come here you, you know right now is a simple field and if you go to the centroid field so you see and you can define a new far, uh, marker for that and uh, we have the different and you can add even from your local machine some some new so let's consider this one green triangle and uh, you can define the size let's make it a little bigger and you can give the rotation so if i just do the okay so and apply if i go to the map you see if the land use is the farm farm land you see this triangle inside that and we have another option if i go again so again going to the field and value and the, if the land use is uh, for example industrial okay and instead of right now the simple field i would like to use the svg field and if i go here you have the option to choose which svg and you can you know that we can import uh, this kind of the new svg from your local machine and you must just convert uh, your images for example into the svg format and after that uh, importing to the uh, qgis but in the future we will show you how to do it so just use one of those for example let me do it's just a sample and if i just just okay apply so right now you see this the new symbol is added from the svg file
So let's continue with uh, labeling. So actually, I think we are a good uh, level right now with the different symbology. And if I go again to the, for example, building and again to the properties and in the layer properties right and right now going to the label section and let's do the first the single label and you have this possibility to choose from which value so let's uh, define from the building and you can define the font and the size so let's, con let's consider five uh, you can define the different format buffer so let's uh, draw the text buffer and you have the background of your uh, buffer so right now is the shape is the rectangle and you can change it to the uh, for example square or circle and sh giving the shadow or placement the, where to be added and centroid in the visible polygon or whole polygon and but i would like for example force point inside the polygon and in the rendering option if we have the different label uh, you can uh, define uh, how to, which one to be rendered first and if i just do it apply okay you see right now the labels inside so and if i coming back again to the properties in the text you have you can change the uh, format from point for example to the map unit so which will be fixed into your map but you have the different option you can define and again in the building uh, or in the label for the building if i go again to the properties you have even the rule based la labeling same like a rule base uh, for symbology you have this possibility to add the new uh, rule for that for example if i go to the field and value again and from another column another information to be added for example or in and after that i would like to for example to see the buildings uh, type and after that the area for the building and you can visualize it in the rule base uh, rule base labeling so so you see right now we have the different symbology we have some some label we have the land use and we would like right now show how to create a map or pdf map from this uh, map so if i go to the project and after that new print layout and you can define for example test test one and okay you see this this layout map layout and you have this possibility to a little uh, zoom and with this icon add map you have this option to add your map for example in this uh, view so you see your map right now so you have this possibility to, to add a different scale so for example let's consider for example 10,000 and if I just enter, you see right now you have you see most of the uh, option. And with this icon, you have this possibility. You see move item content, for example, to make it a little upper or downer or or other uh, position. So, and you can even make uh, your map a little smaller to bring a, a little uh, place for the legend and if you go to this at the legend you have this possibility to add the legend so you see right now we have the big legend and if i come to the item properties so we have right now is the auto auto update and if i just click this one out for example i don't want to see the land parcel legend and you can just delete it so let's add more option for example i would like to add a text in my map like a so right here i would like the map of building for example and you have this option to different font standard fit or make it bigger or smaller and some some other underline 
some some other option so you see right now it's, it's bigger and it's uh, bold so let's add for example the north arrow for example here you can add the north arrow but you can even choose your, your the north arrow from your svg images and you can create something from what what you need what we have in the qgis we have some uh, some template and some already added uh, images for the north arrow and you can change it whenever you like and let's so let's add the map scale and if i just add it here you see and we have this option to define for example i would like to have the um, uh, two segments in the left side and after that i would like to have the uh, four segments in the right and you know it is a fixed width and you can um, fit the segment bit and you can define by yourself so we have the many uh, possibility here and in the legend again we have some some other option if you see right now we can define the font and take text formatting and if you would like to make it for example the font a little bigger or smaller so right now you see it, it is bigger and in the column for example or in the symbol uh, you have the different um, minimum uh, symbol size or maximum symbol size or spacing between the uh, let me just show you space between the symbols and if you want make it would make it uh, more uh, space between them or some some other option exactly so and as you see we have many options uh, to add more information inside um, your map uh, like uh, um, adding the table or some some other information and even in this part in the uh, in the label or text you you have this possibility to write down the html code and in the future we will show you how to write the html code and some other uh, useful information so if i'm we are somehow at the end of this uh, session and after that you have this possibility to export this map as a pdf and you see right now the, the text one uh, test one and it will be saving and you have some option you can define by yourself and in and if i just it will be opened right now so uh, let me just show you this pdf at the end so right now we have this option and you can define even the different uh, uh, page size like a3 a2 a4 and it's up to you i hope you enjoyed this video but in the future in the advanced uh, section you will see how to have the really great map in the advanced method and please follow us and if you enjoy the video please subscribe and uh, support us with your like and the comment so this option will bring this possibility to other this video to come upper and everybody can use the content of this video Thank you very much and see you soon.